Hey art friends, today we're gonna be drawing... Chloe! This whole week we've been drawing Secret Life of Pet characters. Yeah. Today we're gonna be drawing Chloe, and usually we've been unboxing these and keeping the toy. But at the end of this video, we're gonna do something different. For this project, you need a Sharpie, paper, and three colored pencils, white, and we're gonna use purple because on the box, She's purple, yeah. kind of purple, more gray, but this is really the closest color we have. And then also pink. And we're gonna put those off to the side because we're gonna draw her first. Yep. We're gonna start in the middle of our paper, but towards the top. And we're gonna start with her eyes, kind of like all of the characters we've done so far. And we're gonna draw two circles. And we're gonna draw them right next to each other. And we don't wanna draw them too big because we're not gonna draw, we're gonna draw her body bigger than the other characters that we've drawn. So we've got two circles, about that size, close together. Good. That's awesome. Now, a lot of the times in the movie, she had her eyes half shut. <laughs> she doesn't care about anything. Yeah, she, does, <laughs> she doesn't care about anything. <laughs> and then I'm going to color in everything except for a little white spot on the side of her eye. Good. Then let's draw her eyelashes. So three little curls, curved lines sticking out the side of her eye. Awesome. Good job, man. Okay, now let's draw her nose, and it's going to be a, a V shape right in between her eyes. And then we'll connect it at the top. Then we're going to draw an upside down Y coming down from her nose. So a little line, and then an A shape, and that makes that upside down Y. And we got her mouth. Good job. Okay, now we're going to draw her body shape, and we're going to start above her eye, so to the top left of her eye, let's put a point, and we'll put a point over here on the top right of this eye. So that's where we're gonna start her body, and then we're gonna come down here to the bottom. And so we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna curve, and we're gonna get wider as we get down, and then right at the end, just curve a little, a little bit in. Good, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna come out, curve out, and then right at the end, just curve in. Good. She's gonna be leaning, I like it. Oh. No, it's awesome, it's really <laughs> cool. So, okay, so now these lines down at the bottom, let's make sure they're at the same level. So maybe this one comes down a little further. Now let's draw the top of her head, and so when we come out of this line and connect to the other side, we're gonna curve it so that it's not, she doesn't have a square head. So right here at the top, we'll curve in, cross, and then curve back down. Now let's draw her eyebrows, and they're just gonna be little curves over the top of her eyes. <laughs> now let's draw her cat ears, and they're gonna be A shapes right above each eye. So there's one, and we're gonna draw another one on this side, up and back down. And then inside her ears, let's draw another A shape. Okay, now let's draw her legs, but first let's connect these two lines with a straight line. So I'm going to turn my paper this way and connect them. Good. <laughs> and then let's draw her back legs first. So we're going to start right here and we're going to curve in and down. Good. And then on this side we'll draw the same curve but the other direction. Next, let's draw her feet. So we're gonna draw a rainbow line right in the corner of that shape, and then also on this side. Good, now let's draw two more, and this is for her front paws. Awesome, now let's draw the toes. So two lines inside of each foot. Now let's draw her front legs. Okay. We're gonna draw a curve on each side. That's the outside of her legs. Now let's draw the inside of her legs. <laughs> what are we missing? Uh, her tail. Yeah, her tail. And that's just gonna be an easy, simple 
U shape on its side coming out this side. And we're done. We finished her. Now we need a color, right? Yes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get our purple. And we're going to create a few shapes on her body first that we're not going to color in with the purple. So right here at her nose, let's draw a little circle that goes around her snout. Good. Now let's draw the shape on her belly. And this is going to be white, a white color. And... So on her belly, but we're going to blend in between. So it's not going to be a hard line that's going to go across. So just draw it real lightly. That's going to be the pattern on her belly. Now let's color in everything except for these two shapes, her nose and the inside of her ears. Okay. Okay, now on the belly spot, I started dark and got lighter as I got into the white center of her chest. And now I'm going to use the white to blend the pencil marks so it looks smoother. Is that cool? Yeah. You did a great job on coloring Chloe. Did you have fun? Yeah. Now I love that our drawings aren't exactly the same. Yours is a little taller. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, to have fun. We colored her purple, but she isn't really purple in the movie. Mm -hmm. I think it just matches this version of her a little closer, but she's more of a gray, kind of a blue color. So if you have a better color that matches what she is in the movie, use that instead of purple. All of our other pet lessons, we've unboxed the toy that we yeah. use, right? Yes. But we're going to do something different. Yeah. What should we do with this one? Give it away. In the comments below this video on YouTube. So if you're watching this on our website, be sure to go to YouTube. We'll leave a link where you can click over to the YouTube video and leave a comment. And what should we ask them to leave a comment about? What's their favorite pet? Tell us in the comments below what your favorite pet was in the movie. And we're going to pick a random winner. When are we going to pick the winner? Monday. This coming Monday, we're going to pick the winner. So you have the whole weekend to leave a comment. And one last thing, though, this is just for our art friends in the U.S. Are you excited to give this away? Yeah! <laughs> we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye.